Cells must also pump molecules against a concentration gradient. Ions such as sodium and potassium are moved in this way. Again, a special carrier protein, in this case the sodium-potassium pump, is involved. ATP transfers energy to the carrier protein. This causes the carrier protein to change shape so that sodium ions readily bind to it. The binding of sodium causes another shape change and the sodium ions are released outside the cell. The protein can now bind potassium ions. When the potassium ions bind, the protein once again changes shape and the potassium ions are released inside the cell. At this point, the energy gained from ATP has been used up. The sodium-potassium pump needs energy from another ATP to repeat the cycle. The pump moves sodium ions against their concentration gradient. It also moves potassium ions against their concentration gradient. Moving ions this way requires energy and thus is an example of active transport.